So we're heading into Series 2 in Auckland. Uh, series 1 was a fantastic affair down in Dunedin. A lot of skills on show. Um, again, the, I mean, the level had just, just gone through the roof. Um, the teams were all performing much better. One of the common things we saw from a Series 1 in terms of remarks from the coaches and all the spectators was how the, the playing field's even now, which is fantastic because that's exactly what we want to see. Uh, last year, Auckland dominating the entire league. Um, and it saw uh, Auckland losing their first game in uh, over a year in Dunedin, which is which is good for the league. Not good for them, but good for everyone else. Um, it just shows we're developing across the country. Now. The beauty of it for me is that this is the third third year of a national league, and compared to the first year, we are 100 miles ahead. Honestly, as teams get better, even the national team players have to get better because the other players are now getting closer to their standard and they're going well hang on we're the national team players we've got to play better than these guys so we have to lift so the national league is fantastic because of to to help the national team in that way i mean moving into series two you know it's so close there's only a couple of points in the, in the top four and even the bottom four just moving into the top four so it, it's, it's open it's open to anyone at the moment which is really exciting so it's going to be a, a fantastic series it's a great stadium it's the home of futsal it's where the first game of futsal was uh, was played in New Zealand at the ASB Stadium in Kobe Manama. So it's a proud history here. Um, yeah, so we're all really looking forward to it. Yeah, it was really good to be honest. And then I think one first half it was one 0 I guess. And then, yeah, second half was just start scoring. Kareem scored a hat trick as well. Yeah. So it was really good, yeah. We were training on attacking as well, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, we, I mean, we didn't have the best preparation coming into the tournament. We're missing a few players, and I think that showed on the, on the court. Wellington are a good structured side, and, you know, I think they, they deserved the win, to be honest. They dominated. And, uh, but, I mean, there were a few positives as well. We did create a few chances, and hopefully we, you know, can convert those in later games. I thought we started really well. Uh, we've been training really hard over the last two months in preparation. We had good warm up last week against Hawks Bay. Um, so I was overall happy with the game. Unfortunate to lose our keeper early in the second half and I think that was a real turning point for the game. It's a good start, it's a good start. Um, Good winning, get three points. Uh, then of the se well, series two is always good. Get us confidence to go to the next game against Mailand. Uh, I think the boys did really well. Um, you know, why Bob? It's a tremendous team. We had a friendly game against them before, uh, previously before series one, and I can see the improvement straight away. Like uh, they were a tough position to play today. They put pressure. They got a few quality players. Uh, skillful. Uh, so yeah, we are really glad to come up with a win. 4-2, um, really happy, really happy for the team. From the last uh, last league, we we're quite disappointed with our last couple of games and we really want to come in and sort of put everything behind us. And um, we've, wanted, we've been wanting to beat Auckland for a very long time now. We just, uh, we plan to defend very hard, they punish any mistakes. And so we just wanted to cut out any of our small mistakes and I felt that we really did that today. Um, yeah, it's got a similar feel to the last series where we went out in that first game and it feels like we take a while to get going. But mainland they're a quality team and we know they're going to be there or thereabouts towards the end of the competition.
Yeah, well, uh, they came out and got an early goal, which uh, really put us on the back foot. Last series, we usually probably would have dropped our heads from that, but uh, we've done a lot of work over the break, and we came back and got the 2-1 result, so pretty happy. We started well, but then uh, we just slowed down the Hawks Bay guys. They just so good, you know, they've been picking up stuff after every game and they're doing, they've done well and they deserve the win. Um, yeah, he's really tough and uh, his left foot is just lethal, you know. He had a really strong left foot and he just kept calm after being one nil down. It's, yeah, he, he, he's done a good job. Right? I suppose we did enough at the end of the day to get the result. I think we uh, played quite well, but probably not still our best performance yet, so see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, Hawks Bay have come a long way in such a short amount of time, and uh, we always knew it was going to be tough because I've watched these guys, watched these guys improve every game, and um, some of the players they've got can score goals. And if they had to score just before half time, who would have known what the uh, what the outcome would have been? Oh well, I thought Auckland defended very well, but it was hard to break them down. But we had chances, but we couldn't put them away. But they had chances as well, so I thought it was quite even, but. Yeah, we've definitely improved from the first series. Yeah, I think Melons are it's a strong team, definitely. They, I think they've been playing great, you know. Defensively, they are really good. When they get the ball, they got the players to play as well. Uh, they have a patient, build them up like slowly. I think they're a great team. I'm not happy with the loss, but I'm happy with the performance. I think we played really well. Um, yeah, the boys did a great job. Everything we train and we put in practice. Every single game when we play, we play to win. It didn't happen. Uh, we had a penalty, we, lost, we missed a penalty. Unfortunately, the goals just didn't come up. Let's have a chat about that and make sure we get the goals for the next game. Yeah, it's another great result on the cards today. This is our second game, two wins. And uh, yeah, definitely another close game though. The 2-0 down, they bring on fifth man and we're just lucky enough to score and top the game off. I think it was a very defensive game. No one trying to, to really... I think we both were trying to win the game, but war was more defensive than attacking game. So, but was good. It was a very good game to watch. I think whoever is watching here like, liked the game. Yeah. Oh, it was good, man. I think, I think we were dominating most of the game, to be honest. Um, we had heaps of chances. We just never converted. Um, Foot was out, defensively really strong, really structured, it was hard to break them down. We tried, we did it a few times, but never got the goal. But hey, we always lose games like this, so it's 
good to once win it like this. Um, yeah, we, we started pretty well. Um, there was patches of the game where we just didn't um, connect at all and missed a lot of chances. We were just 1-0 uh, up the whole time, so, you know, it got pretty shaky at the end. Just a bit of lapse in concentration. Just one goal in it. We're not losing by heats. We're just getting done at the end, and yeah, it's pretty heartbreaking, really. Uh, it was pretty leveled game. Played into the last whistle. It's such a great feeling. We, we have a couple of frustrating results in the first two games, so we just thought, ah, let's put the ball down and relax and have fun. And everything happened, you know. It's turned out to be a really tough day for our lads, but generally uh, the boys were, they were pretty good because they realised we played well but also gutted to lose in the last minute. Um, frustrating, to say the least. Um, conceded a bad goal at the start, and then you're chasing the game after that. To be honest, I don't think the result really reflects um, how the game went. Yeah, to be honest, I mean, depends which coach you talk to. We're going to be pretty disappointed as well. Um, you know, to, to, to be 1 0 up and, and to hit the crossbar in the dying minutes. You know, we're desperate to, to get a win on the board, and, and we feel really hard done by. I thought the boys battled well, and uh, yeah, a little bit gutted at the moment. And then the last game against Manavatu on the paper should be easy game, but in this league it's not easy game, you know. I, and they proved it again, you know. It was long time to one, they had the chances. It's about to take the chances, you know. And we scored another two goals at the end and one for one. So very happy, but <clears throat> I'm not happy yet still because you know when Dan Eden said he's won, we won in the first day Saturday three games as well, and then on Sunday lost both and end up fourth. So this league is about you know to concentrate on every game and keep going, you know, game by game. To be honest, I think 4-1 flattered mainland. Um, we were in it for 90% of the game, scored the only goal that's been actually uh, scored against them today, um, and we had other chances. Uh, it was a tough game, Auckland was always a good side, uh, well that's why they were first on the table before they started Series 1, always a strong side, good players um, and they play a better game today, 
Uh, we had a few chances, we couldn't put it in. One chance we had, you know, we got a goal. Um, so yeah, I mean, they played well. I think Auckland deserved the win. We tried fifth man, the end it didn't work. We had the chances, couple of balls, uh, and we just the last touch we couldn't put it in. So you know, well done to Auckland, and we have to improve for the next game, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, last time they taught us a bit of a lesson on how to play, and uh, we had that in the back of our minds, and we stuck to our guns, and finally we got, we'll call it a bit of luck at times, and we found, found the back of the net, and that's all we need to do, and we'll win games. We've been working quite hard on it, you know, like there's part of the games we can control and parts we can't. We came here with a great team, you know, injuries are part of the game. We've got a couple of great players injured, you know, our keeper got injured, someone had to, I had to step up play a goalkeeper. But overall, we've been pushing for that win a lot and we're so close to it, but, you know, it's unlucky. The, the, the team we played was a great team, they had great players, you know, top goal scorers from their team. We battled hard against them, couldn't convert, they did, 1-0, no, fair enough. But, yeah, we're going to push for the next game as well, hopefully you'll win that one. Oh, it was a pretty even game to be fair, we were pretty lucky to get the goal. I think uh, their keeper especially played outstanding. Um, I think they were pretty unlucky not to not to get a win yet, So, but um, it could have gone either way. Um, I think we could have kept the ball a bit better at times, but um, other than that, I think uh, defensively, yeah, we've been pretty good, but as I say, we could have kept the ball a lot better, but yeah. It's been coming for a long time. It's always been a very close game against them, but uh, I felt today that we dominated pretty much in all aspects of the game. And um, and I think uh, this weekend has been 10 points, which has pretty, been pretty good. We still so far successful weekends. Uh, we just dropped a couple of points yesterday, but against mainland now, uh, them not getting any three points brings us everybody quite close together. So top four is. Uh, it's a pretty tight, tight top four, so anybody out of actually, I reckon six teams can finish top four. Uh, we went into the game, we were hoping to actually go for the draw, or at least to try and not concede any goals. I've had a clean sheet so far, and today <laughs> those three goals were a bit disappointing, but um, we are very tired, we had a very, very rough draw, and uh, we played uh, very, three very difficult games, and our last game was at 10 o'clock yesterday. So by the time we got to bed, and um, there's no excuses really though, Wellington were very, very hungry and I think as you heard Mickey uh, saying before, we've, we've had very close games with them and we've beaten three in a row and so they really wanted to come out and, and uh, clean us up today. And now uh, they played well and all credit to them. That was, yeah, that was another tough game, you know. Uh, got Carlos next to me, um, you know, 14 goals in the competition until now. The Golden Boot, I don't think no one is close to him. Got four goals against us and he killed the game. Uh, we knew it was going to be a really tough game. We know the quality Felipe has got and the, and the type of gameplay he puts into his team. We knew it was going to be really tough, but we were just lucky scoring two or three goals in the first half and then we took on the game. Yeah. All the teams are really close. The quality of all the teams, if you see the table at the moment, uh, it's a couple of points difference between you know the second and the fourth. So it's great. It's great to see this. It's everyone even at the moment, so it's really good.
we uh, got pummeled a bit in the early stages, I think, but um, I think we showed some pretty good character and got back into the game pretty well. Obviously, we're gutted with the result. Um, turn all up, probably let them back into the game a little bit. Um, a few errors we created and gave them a few chances, but at the end of the day, I mean, it was an awesome game to be involved in, and you know, it's just the way the cookie crumbles, I suppose. We've got a real good squad, uh, like you said, we've um, played really well, it's just uh, we've been really unfortunate, uh, just a few of the things didn't go our way, just really unlucky, uh, but I think we've shown good signs of a good, good young team, we've got a young team, so um, yeah, I think we'll get better as, as the next series come, comes along. Yeah, I mean, after what happened in Dunedin, you know, we just didn't turn up on the Sunday, so we're really keen to, you know, come out today and prove that we can't, we can do it both days, not just on the Saturday. So uh, after this morning slip up, we were really keen to come out and give these guys a go, and they gave us a go, definitely. Uh, last year I think there was a lot of younger guys and they've come into their own nowadays and playing some good futsal so it's good to see and, and it's always a tough game against these boys for sure. It's always a, always a good game, I think we've had a couple of thrills now so um, yeah oh, that was heartbreaking to lose it like that but yeah always a good game and thrill was probably, probably a deserved score. Yeah. We obviously expected a tough game against these boys. We had a tight game in the first round. And um, yeah, we knew it was going to come down to the last minute. We had to use keeper in at the end and it seemed to be just a goal apiece the whole way through. So uh, tough game and I think fair, fair score, I think. Well, we started off quite um, quite well. I thought we came came up firing. A bit different to yesterday. You say we're a bit sloppy, um, but no, it was good. Good game. Really enjoyed it. Lots of shots. So yeah, it's good. A lot of different trains. Trainings are a little bit different as well. Um, a lot more work into it, into the trainings. Well, I, Wellington puts heaps of work in, but. I feel like we've been doing a bit of the hard yards at the moment. Uh, it's been a fantastic, fantastic series. Um, again, all the teams just uh, perform so well. And, and, and again, all of us were watching the games and the spectators and the, and the technical crew. Are just seeing the level just go from strength to strength, which is which is fantastic. Overall, Auckland, they pulled themselves back in it. They, they've done a fantastic job, and they're back top of the table, 22 points. Mainland are in second place. I can't imagine them not staying in the top four now. Futsal South, so they're in fourth place on 16 points. A Northern at the end of series two, they're in fifth place now. Uh, they're only a point away from that fourth place spot. Although there was a lot of improvement in Series 1, I think again they've stepped up in the, in the Defence Department. The structures are good, 
Uh, I don't think I need to tinker a lot with defences, which I think is, is great. Um, I think the attacking side of things was much better this time than it was last time. The Series 3 is going to be a special one. Um, obviously everyone's going to be really battling in for the top four for the playoffs. Wellington's a special place, the ASB Sports Centre. Uh, the courts there are fantastic. So yeah, I mean everyone's, everyone's buzzing. Looking forward to getting down there. They're going to work really, really hard in between now and um, March 23rd, 24th. Look forward to a really exciting Series 3 and, and as we get to the business end.